Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Chernovsky here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about VeChain NFTs. First off, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor. If you are investing, it's your decision, it's your choice, so do your own research. Next, if you do like this content, please hit that subscribe and like button. It really does help. Last, I want to say thank you so much to this community, VeChain community, VFam, everyone out there. Thank you so much for your support. It really doesn't go unnoticed. But without further ado, let's dive into this video. So today what I want to talk about is how to access NFTs within the VeChain ecosystem. What I'm going to be talking about is the currencies that are needed for these NFTs, the wallets that are needed, and the marketplaces to purchase slash mint these NFTs. So first, let's talk about the currencies that you're going to need in order to have access to these VNFTs. So when you're purchasing a VeChain NFT, you're going to need two currencies. One, you're going to need VeChain or VET. And two, you're going to need VTHO or VTHOR, which is the gas for the transactions. Now, if you want to purchase VET or VTHO, all you're going to have to do is go to CoinMarketCap, look up the markets that they exist in, and you should be able to access or purchase VET from a majority of the major centralized exchanges. And wherever you can usually buy VeChain or VET, you can buy VTHO. But if you do want to find out other places to buy VTHO, you can do it here on CoinMarketCap as well. Now, once you have these two currencies, the VeChain or VET and the VTHO, what you're going to need after is a wallet that can connect to the marketplaces for the VeChain ecosystem. These wallets can be used on DEXs and other places, but today we're just gonna be talking about the wallets for uh, connecting to the marketplaces for these VNFTs or VeChain NFTs. Now the two wallets you're going to need is one, a Sync2 wallet, which is for your computer or desktop, laptop, or whatever you're using, right? And the other wallet is the VeChain Thor wallet, which is going to be on your phone. Now, if you connect with the Sync2 wallet, all you're going to need to do for Sync2 is connect your wallet to the website or marketplace that you're interested into by going directly to the website. And for the VeChain Thor wallet on your phone, you're going to need to go to the Discover option of the VeChain Thor wallet and in there, you're going to be able to find dApps for each different VNFT project and even a dApp for these marketplaces. So all you're going to need at the start in order to access these VNFTs to purchase or mint, you're going to need that VChain or VET token. You're going to need VTHO or VThor for the gas for transactions and you're going to need these two wallets a sync 2 wallet or a vchain thor wallet now i've heard that other sync wallets like 1.3 and others work as well but sync 2 is the most updated one and it is the one that i recommend using for the desktop now that we know which tokens we're going to need and the wallets we're going to need let's talk about the marketplaces that exist for the VeChain ecosystem. Now there's three marketplaces currently for the VeChain ecosystem. One is VC. VC is the place where you can find a, a lot of collections um, that are PFP projects. Um, some of them are um, future NFT gaming projects. And this is the place where you find a lot of those big um, collaborations or, or projects with a lot of minting done on the VeChain ecosystem. Here's where you can find things like uh, VKings, VGhost, NFT Paper Project. You can find the Mad V Apes, which is one of our blue chips. Um, VKings is a blue chip. Uh, a lot of the blue chips you can find here on the VC marketplace, okay? All you're going to have to do is, let's say if I want to go and purchase a VNerd, all I'm going to have to do is click that marketplace and then I can use the filters to find whatever I'm looking for. If I'm looking for the most rare, lowest price, if I want to buy the floor, 
I can just go down those filters and figure out what I want. Now, if I want a specific NFT, I can go even further, talk about backgrounds, I can talk about the different types of nerds, I can talk about whatever I want in those filters, and the VC marketplace will filter it out for me, and I can find whatever I'm looking for, okay? So you could just go into the all collections, find whatever collection you're interested in, and go to the marketplace, and you should be good to go once you connect your wallet. Now, when you connect your wallet to VC, all you're going to have to do is hit connect. And what's going to pop up is a little window that is going to ask you to sign your wallet over. Okay. Now, it's going to come up with a little loading, sign in content. I click continue. And then here comes my unlock for my password. And I just type in my, uh, my password and I will be signed into VC to make my purchases. Okay. Now VC along with the collections, they also do minting and all you have to do is click the mint now page and you'll be able to see what is currently minting. And if you click on that mint page, some of them will bring you to their own personal website like Battle Me Mage V does, but some others will bring you to a minting page for uh, VC. Like for example, here's the V nerds minting page and I could have had it from here, right? So it all depends on the project and how they want to do it, but VC seems to incorporate it in for you. So uh, VC is the first marketplace that I'm going over for the VeChain ecosystem. Now the other marketplace that's out there out of the other three is World of V. Now World of V is also one of the main marketplaces for the VeChain ecosystem. VC and World of V are the two biggest. Now, when you're going on World of V, you're going to have some different options. Now, there is the option to go look at collections and you have some of the same collections from VC on here, but not all of them. But the real thing that's awesome about World of V is that World of V has this marketplace for unique artists and one-to-ones and small collections. They have all these artists that aren't trying to do big projects where they print out 10,000 NFTs or things like that. They really are trying to focus on trying to um, have those individual unique artists have a place where they can showcase their artwork and have it out there while also incorporating those collections that we saw before. Now, when you're minting on uh, World of V, what you'll see is you'll see a little mint option come up, right? It says now live. I come on here and I can go to that project and I can mint on World of V. Vanessa is minting currently on World of V. And if I want to mint on here or if I want to make a purchase, all I have to do is hit connect. And again, I will go through that same process of signing in on my wallet. And I will, once I'm signed in, I can connect and make my purchases or mint those NFTs. World of V, if you are a fan of those unique artists, is a great place for you to go to find those unique artworks. And you won't really find those on VC. VC, again, is one of those col all collections. It's one of those big marketplaces for um, projects that are minting 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 2,000 um, pieces of NFTs or VNFTs. So um, that is the main difference between the World of V marketplace and the VC marketplace. I think they're both great. I think they both have amazing utility and they both keep growing um, every day. Now, the third marketplace that we have for VeChain NFTs is a little place called Black V Market. This place gets a little bit overlooked, but this is a place where you can find other collections. Um, this is another marketplace for the VeChain ecosystem. And if you're looking for some other unique projects out there that are still solid, this is a place to go as well. Personally, I'm a fan of the V Shotties. Um, that's one project I'm into. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about No Nerd Inks and Vuminoids and a lot of these projects actually, but um, I can't mint them all. 
So um, we, we all have our limits, right? So all you're going to have to do for Black B Market is you're going to have to find the project that you're interested in minting or purchasing. Like, for example, if I wanted to mint v shoddies, I would come into v shoddies. I would go down to where it says get her number. And when I hit get her number, it will bring me to the minting page for the V shoddies. And all I have to do is connect my wallet. Now, also on Black V Market, it can be a little tricky sometimes to see where everything is. But they all have these little icons that you can, connect, you can click on to connect to the minting page, the aftermarket, and so forth, right? So um, Black V Market is the third marketplace for the VeChain ecosystem. It is a little overlooked, but has some great projects in there as well. So, um, so if you are someone who is interested in participating in these VeChain NFTs and the VeChain ecosystem and VNFTs, um, what you're going to need is to go to either one of these three marketplaces. You're gonna to need to connect your sync to or your VeChain Thor wallet to the websites or to the D apps, and then you will be good to go um, in your adventure for VeChain NFTs. I hope you all found this video helpful and informative. Um, it could be a little tricky trying to navigate through all these marketplaces, so I really do hope you found this helpful. I can't wait to see everyone's future VNFTs. Um, I hope you enjoy them as much as I do and the community does. And make sure that if you are purchasing some of these VNFTs, that you also join the Twitter spaces and talk to the community because they can help you out with other things that are out there. Again, I hope you like this content. I hope you found it helpful. And until next time, have a great day week, month, and year.